Look at his pocket presence and look at that floater all the way down to. What's up, guys? It's your boy Mayhem Matthew. Today we are going to be recapping the G Day uh, spring game. You know, I had a great time. I got to uh, ring the Georgia bell. I got to, uh, you know, go down to the field and uh, see all the Georgia players. You know, I got to cheer for my Georgia Bulldogs. And guess what? The Georgia Bulldogs won. So uh, that's always a plus there. You know, um, Everybody wants to know who's Georgia's quarterback. And y'all should have been listening to Mayhem Matthew because I've been telling y'all, Carson Beck is the real deal. And uh, he showed us in that spring game that he is the real deal. You know, just last week, people were talking about how he threw a couple interceptions. You know, these guys go through so many practices. I mean, you're going to make mistakes. You're facing up against, you know, one of the best defenses in the country, you know, so at practice. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Carson Beck is probably going to be your co quarterback number one, like I've been saying. Uh, and so, and now everybody wants to say that Carson Beck is QB1, which they are right. Um, speaking of Carson Beck, we're going to be, uh, you know, watching some of the highlights here. Look at this play right here. He's going to pass it to Cash, um, the running back. He had a great game. I'm going to talk about him a little bit later. Carson Beck, look at his feet. He got a lot of time to throw the ball. That was to Rosemary Jack Saint right there. Um, you know, he had a good game. I'm going to talk about him too. You know, look at his pocket presence and look at that floater all the way down to Brock Bowers. And that guy, everybody knows that he is a stud uh, for the Georgia Bulldogs at tight end. If you don't know Brock Bowers by now, you haven't been watching football for the last couple of years. That was a pretty pass. Uh, that was a pretty catch and a beautiful run. Uh, flea, flicker, flea flicker right here. Um, I believe that's Edwards, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, you got this uh, plash and pass. Beautiful throw, beautiful spiral to Lad McConkey. Um, he's coming back to the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, he's going to be a key player in this receiving core as well. That beautiful pass. Look at that. He he his arm. He has a really strong arm. Um, I'm really excited for Carson Beck. Here we go right here. Nice spiral. Um, you know I think Oscar Dup right here had some uh, sun issues. Uh, I think the sun got in his eyes right there. Here's the uh here's the wide receiving transfer right here, Dominic Lovett. I mean, this guy is awesome. That's uh Dylan Bell right there. Back to pass, got plenty of time to throw, and um that was to cash again. And then right here, beautiful pass, six yards to Arian Smith. So as you can see, you know, um, Carson Beck, he threw it to like nine different targets. Um, he was a stud out there. Uh, his, his, his body language, he looked calm. He looked uh, collected. You know, he looked, um, he looked like he was comfortable out there. He was just slinging the ball. And, um, you know, that's why Georgia recruited him. And that's why Alabama tried to recruit him. Um, but, Georgia won that recruiting battle right there. Carson Beck is the guy. And like I said in my last uh, video about Carson Beck, this guy could be up for the Heisman. Uh, just last year, we had Stetson Bennett, you know, uh, as a Heisman finalist. And um, a lot of Georgia fans would even say that Carson Beck might just be a little bit better. I think Carson Beck's uh, arm is a little bit stronger. And I think his, um, you know, accuracy is a little bit better than Stetson Bennett's. And um, Carson Beck, this guy can you know, fit uh, fit the ball into tight windows. I really like uh, Carson Beck. I cannot wait to see him out on the field. You know, I got to see him at the spring game 
but I can't wait to see him in the regular season, man. I mean, listen, we all know that this spring game was a glorified scrimmage game, but Carson Beck looked really, really good, and I'm very excited. Uh, he went 13 of 18, 211 yards and one touchdown. Uh, you got Gunnar Stockton. He went 13 of 22 with one interception and 144 yards. Uh, Brock Vandergriff of 9 of 14, 135 yards and two tutties. Um, you know, you got uh, in the running back room, you got uh, Cash Jones. Uh, this guy uh, hadn't really been talked about a lot, but uh, look out for him. You know, he's he's really good. Uh, he had four uh, carries for 22 yards. Dejon Edwards, he was dealing with an injury, so he only got uh, three carries for six yards. Um, you know, you had uh, wide receiving. You, you had Dylan Bell, uh, two receptions for 33 yards. You had uh, Dominic Lovett, as we've seen, two, two receptions for 30 yards. Lad McConkey, as we've seen, you know, that 37-yard pass. Um, Rosemary Jackson even got into the game. Uh, as we've seen with uh, 17 yards, Arian Smith, he had uh, that six-yard touchdown pass like we've seen. Um, Brock Bowers, he uh, had two beautiful passes thrown to him for 55 yards and Oscar Delp for 17 yards. Um, Lawson Lucky tied in, you know, three receptions for 48 yards. And uh, here's two guys that I want to talk about, too. Um, Jackson Meeks, he had two receptions for 48 yards and a tutty. Um, the Georgia Bulldogs pretty much carried him to the to the touchdown um, and on that one play. Wide receiver Muse, he had four receptions for 91 yards. So these guys really attacked the day and are really uh, impressed me as far as uh, the Georgia spring game. Defensively, um, you had uh, Tyke Smith with an interception. You had Raylan Wilson with an interception and four tackles. Um, you had Xavier Sori with seven tackles. You had A.J. Harris with six tackles. Um, you even had C.J. Allen with five tackles. Um, you had uh, Dumas Johnson with four tackles. E.J. Lightsey with four tackles. Um, you had uh, Damon Wilson with four tackles. So these guys really attacked the day on defense. A lot of guys had three tackles. A lot of guys had two tackles. Um, but this defense is going to be uh, one of the best in the country again, again. Uh, you know, Georgia keeps on reloading at the defense position, and that's what, that brings me up to my next uh, talking point. You know, um, we had a defensive lineman by the name of Bear Alexander uh, hit the transfer portal right before the spring game. And um, honestly, he this guy, listen to me closely. This guy, Barry Alexander, is an elite defensive lineman, okay? He's elite, okay? But um, I'm not an excuse maker, okay? If somebody if somebody gets injured and if somebody transfers or if somebody sits out of a of a bowl game, um, you can't make that excuse. That's part of football now. Everybody, y'all have got to realize that this is a part of football. Transferring and injuries and you know um, sitting out of bowl games, all that stuff is a part of football now and nil. You know, all this stuff is a part of football, and um, you can't make excuses. This is why Kirby Smart is an elite recruiter. We lost a lot to the NFL last year. Georgia was still one of the best defenses in the country last year. Um, you know, defenses win championships still, and Kirby Smart is about to prove that this year, defensively and offensively, Georgia has a great offense. I think we have a really balanced uh, team this year. I think we have a really good offense, a really good defense, but this defense is going to be elite. Once again, we are going to reload. Yes, Bear Alexander, he transfers. Okay, we're going to uh, next man up mentality. Watch out for Jordan Big Baby Hall. I mean, you still got Michael Williams. 
and I can keep on naming guys that I, that I, I mean, you got Nazir Stackhouse. This defensive line ain't going nowhere just because of one person. Okay? Yes. Georgia Georgia football is going to miss Bear Alexander, okay? Yes, we are. He is, he is he was going to be pretty much an all-American for our defensive line. But we have to reload and um next man up mentality, okay? So, if you like this video so far, smash the thumbs up and if you really like this video, hit the subscribe button. We're also go we're also going to be talking about um tight end Landon Thomas. He uh flips his recruitment um from Georgia to uh Florida State. So Landon, you know, I respect your decision, but uh Todd Hartley knows what he's doing in 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 the recruiting at tight at the tight end position. Um, you know, we're gonna be just fine, okay? You know, Landon Thomas goes to FSU because he's gonna get immediate playing time there. A lot of these guys are going for NIL deals and immediate playing time. Uh Landon Thomas probably would have had to sit on the bench for a couple of years because Georgia is tight end university. Okay. So I'm not even worried. Uh we just had a uh four star tight end in Ethan Bar Barber. You know, um, he loves the dogs. So we're recruiting at a very high level. So whenever these guys transfer or these guys decommit, it's not the end of the world, Georgia Bulldogs, okay? Uh, you know, we're going to reload. We don't rebuild here at Georgia Bulldogs. We reload. On the boogie, man. Hooga, booga.